Hi guys, it's Justine and today's video is going to be a kids Christmas outfit haul. I also have a few things in here that aren't outfits, but they are related to like Christmas traditions and stuff for kids. So I'm going to put those at the end of the video. The first thing that I'm going to talk about are these PJs that I got from Target recently. I'm just going to insert a clip of them because my kids have already been wearing them like since like the first week of November, my kids have been wearing these PJs. My sons are um, from the Cat and Jack brand and they are of the uh, 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 I want to say abdominal, but abominable snowman. And they are so cute. They're only $10 at Target. And then my daughters are also Cat and Jack brand, but I don't think that hers are actually PJs because I had to buy each piece separately. Um, I think each piece is about $6 each. And hers are little sloths on Christmas lights and they're so cute. But like I said, um, I don't think that they're actually PJs, but uh, she'll be wearing them as PJs so that way she can match her brother a little bit. And then the whole reason I got those PJs are because in my last kids outfit haul, I think it was a baby girl outfit haul, I got this headband for my daughter and this headband does not match any of the other Christmas outfits that um, she has this year. And so I needed to make sure to get something that matches that headband so she can actually wear it this year. And now my kids just have an extra pair of PJs that they can wear this winter. Now these next outfits I got off of eBay, they were very inexpensive I think they're about seven or eight dollars each I will leave the link down below and these are actually such good quality they are made and shipped from China but here this is what they look like here's my sons um, I got both of my kids in a size up so this is a six to seven T and so that way they can wear them each year um, every year we have a tradition where my kids get to open one present on Christmas Eve then they open a PJs. So they get brand new PJs on Christmas Eve and then they wear those PJs on Christmas Eve. And so I always try to get PJs that are kind of Christmassy but they could also wear all year round since they don't open them till Christmas Eve. And so this is what I went with. Um, it's got brown and red and moose on it. And I love that it has moose instead of reindeer because it makes it more like you can wear it all year. And then here are the pants for his. And these, the color on these pants are actually so much brighter in person than they look on the website. And they are just so cute. I'm definitely gonna have to wash these a little bit because these are gonna be really big on him. Um, so hopefully they shrink a little bit, but that's what I get for ordering a size up. And oh, they're just so cute. And then my daughter's is the same pattern, but in like a baby onesie style. and. Again, I ordered hers in 18 months, and right now she's wearing 12 months. So she'll be able to wear these for a while. And then something that I got to go with those is this book. I've been really, for the past several years, I've been wanting to get The Night Before Christmas, um, like an old fashioned looking version of the book that has the original story because a lot of the books have like, um, parts changed up a little bit to make them more modern or they have like some lines of the story taken out. So I also got this off of eBay. I got a brand new for again, I think like, I think it was around $8. And so I'm also going to um, wrap this and um, put it under the tree for my kids to open on Christmas Eve and then we can read it Christmas Eve. And also um, they have like a few different of these like old timey versions, but this is actually the exact same version that I had when I was a kid with the illustrator. The illustrator is Christian Birmingham. And so now they have the same book, like the exact same, same pictures, the same cover, same illustrator um, that I had. And um, I'm just, this is like one of my favorite Christmas stories. And so I'm excited um, to give that to them. And then next are their outfits for Santa pictures and Christmas day. Um, so for my daughter, I got her this little dress again off of eBay. If I can, um, if they are still selling them, I will link them down below if the listing hasn't ended. And it's just a black and plaid. And then I got my son a matching shirt and then he'll wear um, black pants with this and some black shoes and she will do the same thing wear black leggings with it and some black shoes and look they're gonna look so cute matching on Christmas and in their Santa photos and then to go with those I also got her a little black bow again off of eBay I think that was a dollar and then these I think were maybe three dollars again off eBay and they are black suspenders let me take them out of this plastic and they are black suspenders and a um, bow tie. And the bow tie is like a clip-on. 
So it just goes around and you clip it and there you go. So they're gonna look so cute for Santa pictures and on Christmas day. And then um, kind of to go with that is I got my daughter some shoes. I got these black shoes again off eBay. Um, here they have like cardboard in them to keep them in place. They look like this. And these were supposed to be her shoes to wear with her dress but these are so big and these are a zero to six months and my daughter is almost a year old and like these are huge these are probably closer to like a size six in baby shoes they say two right here but like if i'm estimating they're probably closer um to like a five or a six i also got her these shoes just a pair of moccasins i think these are a size 12 months um, six to 12 months and again these are gigantic these won't fit her for a very long time um, these black shoes will probably fit her in a few months these probably won't fit her for like over a year because they're just so huge and again they were six to 12 months I thought they would be like her size to wear now but that's okay after these shoes neither of these pairs fit her I went to Walmart and um, took her with me so she could actually try on some shoes and I got her these black flats that I am entering a clip of now and these do fit her these are in a size three and they fit perfectly and then I also got her these tennis shoes and they are the um i think they're both of these pairs of shoes are the granimals brand but the tennis shoes are actually really hard for her to walk in i thought oh tennis shoes those will be really comfortable for her but because the sole of the shoe is so thick she has a hard time balancing because like she can't feel where the floor is and so those are kind of a bust but the flats she can walk really nicely in and they're really cute and so she got four pairs of shoes, but only two of them actually fit her right now. And then the next thing that I got is this white shirt with a white tie. My son is in kindergarten and he is having his first school play this year. Well, not school play, school like performance this year. And he needs to wear a white dress shirt. So I got this off of Amazon. It was $10 for the shirt and the tie. And I feel like that's a really good deal. And so um, I will again, leave that linked down below. Prices will probably vary based on your child's size and um, the color of shirt you're getting. But this is a size five in white and it was $10. And this is so cute. This would actually be um, a nice Christmas outfit, especially if you paired it with like a uh, sweater vest or a sweater or something. Um, but I already have his Christmas outfit picked out, so. But a white shirt like this is also really universal. You can pretty much wear it any holiday. And so um, that is for him. And then a couple other things that are more tradition related. Um, I got both of my kids these Elf on the Shelves. Neither of them are the name brand Elf on the Shelf because I didn't want to spend, I think the cheapest I could find it was like $26 for the Elf um, and the book. And I forget where I saw it for $26. But um, I wanted each of my kids to have their own little Elf. This is a little Seahawks Elf. This thing looks creepy as hell. But um, he has a Velcro hands and Velcro feet and he was ten dollars and i actually found him at my local walmart but um they also have him on amazon and i sent my brother this same elf um so um he can also do elf on the shelf this year and then again i got this one for my daughter just a little purple girl elf and i sent the same one to my niece except i sent her um in red they make this elf in so many different colors so i got my daughter purple and then i got my niece red because i wasn't sure um, what color my sister would have liked and so I just went with like a classic red color but um, because of my kids are gonna do elf on the shelf I'm gonna bring everybody down with me um, and have these creepy things sitting around all of my family's houses so I got them these elf on the shelf and then something that we do every year are these chocolate advent calendars and this is the first year that my daughter's like old enough to do one they're just teeny tiny chocolates i figure one small chocolate a day for a one-year-old is perfectly fine but these are what they look like and so we're gonna start these soon and um they are just the white whitemans whitmans um countdown calendar 24 solid milk chocolate balls so that's for them too and that is it for this kids christmas haul um i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe comment etc 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 and as always thank you so much for watching bye guys